Hello and thank you for visiting Super Planet Travels. In this video, I'll show you the finest things to do in Barcelona. Barcelona Cathedral it lacks the quirky and buzz of La Sagrada Familia, but it holds court, a massive gothic temple that towers over the small streets and matchbox stores. Its location was once home to a Roman temple when Barcelona was still known as Barcelona. You can track down parts of the old Roman walls and aqueduct nearby. Today, the cathedral's official name, Cathedral of the Holy Cross and Saint Eulalia, celebrates Eulalia, a local girl who refused to renounce her Christian beliefs in response to Roman ruler Diocletian's ultimatum. It's lovely and atmospheric, as religious structures typically are. Regardless of your religious beliefs, the architecture in Sadia along with the city view from the brief elevator journey to the Tipa is worth seeing. La Boqueria, may be Barcelona's oldest market. It began in 1217 as a smattering of meat to booths on La Rambla, but tradition isn't dead. More than 200 stands join together like a culinary choir, with traders shouting, drinks clinking, and welcoming greetings belted out whole hour. Despite the setting, it's the scent that gets you, warm, ocean salty, freshly fried fish, the sort that lines your nostrils, stimulates your stomach, makes your throat tighten and must be washed down with a glass of kava. As you enter, get a fruit smoothie from one of the brightly colored kiosks. Then complete a lap, the deeper you go, the better the value. Mural, the world begins with every kiss, this romantically titled painting at the Catedral de Barcelona was only supposed to be a short-term display. It was inaugurated in 2014 to honor the 300th anniversary of September 11, 1714, Catalonia Day, or La Dida, which commemorates Catalan capitulation during the War of Spanish Succession. The day honors the Catalan lives lost, regional identity, and freedom. The artwork is made up of 4,000 tiles with images printed on them that are organized into mosaics by color and density such that the 26-foot tall painting appears to represent two people kissing from a distance. This kiss, a symbol of compassion, empathy, and liberty, was so moving that the local authority never removed it. New Camp, there are two measures of the prominence of FC Barcelona in the city. One example is the abundance of imitation Lionel Messi jerseys, the club's godlike striker, for sale everywhere. The second factor is the size of its home stadium, Camp Nou. With a population of 99,354, it is Europe's largest and there are plans to increase it to 105,000. All seats are really held by season ticket holders, who subsequently sell them to the general public if they are unable to attend. Don't be concerned, it typically implies there's a decent portion available, especially against lower league opponents and 72 to 48 hours before a match. While Barcelona's home matches in La Liga the Spanish soccer competition that runs from mid-August through the end of the season are currently taking place behind closed doors, tours of the stadium and the FC Barcelona Museum are still kicking off, from May negation 26, or $30. Glimpse Messi's trophies, the players' tunnel, and the first team's bench. Well, we've reached the end of this video, but there were more locations and destinations to tell you about, but in my view, those are the greatest ones to see. If you're planning a trip to Barcelona, or, looking for a place to visit, Barcelona is a must-see. I hope you like this video and learned something new, we'll see you in the future video, till then, bye.